A graph is a visual representation of all the possible solutions to the equation it represents. A linear equations graph can be used to answer many real-world problems. For example, George walked from his house to his friend's house at a steady speed. This graph shows how many miles he traveled over different numbers of hours. First, notice the units on the x and y axes. The x-axis is labeled hours and the y-axis is labeled miles. Every ordered pair or xy coordinate that falls in the line represents a combination of hours, represented by x, and miles, represented by y. The ordered pair 0, 0 means that after 0 hours, George has traveled 0 miles. This point on the line represents when George has not yet left his house. The ordered pair 3, 6 shows that after 3 hours, George has gone 6 miles. Suppose we are told that George's friend's house is 8 miles away from George's house. How many hours would it take George to walk there? We are given a number of miles, which is a y value. To determine the number of hours that corresponds to 8 miles, we need to determine the x value of the ordered pair that falls in the line with a y value of 8, or x8. To do this, go to 8 on the y-axis, then move horizontally across the graph until you reach the line. Now, move vertically down from that point to the x-axis. It intersects at x equals 4. This gives us the ordered pair 4, 8, as shown on the graph. So it takes George 4 hours to go 8 miles. So remember, reading from a graph gives you ordered pairs, which tells you y at a given x, or x at a given y. Suppose you were asked how far George would travel if he walked for 10 hours. Here we have an x value, but the graph cuts off after 7 hours. So how could we use the information we already know to find the answer? One method would be to create a table of values based on the ordered pairs provided on the line. Seeing the ordered pairs in table form may help you identify a pattern that could be continued to get the number of hours desired. In the table, notice that as the hours increase by 1, the miles increase by 2. To determine the number of miles traveled in 10 hours, extend the table, counting by 1s for hours and 2s for miles. Now that the value for 10 hours is included in the table, we can determine that if George walked for 10 hours, he would travel 20 miles. The method of extending the table works well, but only if the amount you need to continue the pattern is within reason. For example, if you were asked how long it would take George to travel 100 miles, it would take a lot of time and space to continue the pattern until you got to 100 miles in the Y column. Instead, you could write an equation that represents the relationship between the hours, which are represented by X, and the miles, which are represented by Y. Then, use the equation to determine how many hours it would take George to travel 100 miles. Creating an equation allows you to find y at any x. Since the graph makes a straight line, you can write a linear equation in the form of y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The line intersects the y-axis at the origin 0, 0, so we know that b equals 0. Now, determine the slope m by counting the rise and run between two points and writing them as a ratio called rise over run. The two ordered pairs, 0, 0, and 3, 6, are already shown on the line. The rise between them is 6, and the run between them is 3. So we can say that the slope m equals 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. Since we know that m equals 2 and b equals 0, we can write the equation y equals 2x plus 0. This is the same thing as y equals 2x. If you are not comfortable with writing equations in slope-intercept form from a graph, Another way to write an equation is to put the five given ordered pairs from the line in a table and see if you can identify the relationship between x and y as shown in the table. Here, you can clearly see that in order to get the number of miles y, you multiply the hours x by two. In other words, y equals two times x or y equals two x. So how long would it take George to travel 100 miles? The equation y equals 2x represents how many miles y George can walk in any number of hours x. Since 100 miles is a y value, you can substitute 100 in for y in the equation. So 100 equals 2x. If we divide both sides of the equation by 2, we see the result is x equals 50 hours. Another way you could arrive at this answer is by working backwards, asking yourself what number times 2 equals 100. Since 100 divided by 2 equals 50, we know that 50 times 2 equals 100. 
Now that we know that x equals 50 when y equals 100, we can state this in terms of the real-world scenario. It will take 50 hours for George to walk 100 miles.